Israeli military said today it had killed Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar in an operation in the southern Gaza Strip. Troops appear to have run across him in a battle only to discover afterward that a body in the rubble was the man Israel has hunted for more than a year. Sinwar has topped Israel's most wanted list since the beginning of the Israel-Hamas war just over a year ago. And his killing strikes a powerful blow to the militant group. Sinwar was one of the chief architects of the Hamas attack last October. In a statement, President Joe Biden said that Hamas is no longer capable of carrying out similar attacks. Meanwhile, U.S. bombers hit targets associated with Iranian-backed rebel groups in the country of Yemen. NBC's Aaron McLaughlin reports from Tel Aviv. Hey there, President Biden authorized those strikes against the Houthis in Yemen in order to protect one of the world's most critical waterways. For the first time, the U.S. military used B-2 stealth bombers to target the group's weapons storage facilities, which are deep underground. The Secretary of Defense called it a, quote, unique demonstration of U.S. capabilities. The U.S. first launched strikes against the Houthis in January after the Iranian-backed militant group began targeting military and commercial ships to show its solidarity with Hamas in Gaza. Meanwhile, the U.S. says it has seen signs of progress in Gaza after the Biden administration gave Israel 30 days to improve the humanitarian situation there or face cuts in American military aid. Hundreds of thousands of starving Palestinians are trapped in Gaza as Israel continues to bomb the area, according to human rights groups. According to the State Department, the Israelis allowed dozens of aid trucks to enter the Strip on Wednesday. However, NBC News has learned from aid distribution groups that few of those trucks have reached Gaza and none have made it to the Jabalia refugee camp where Israel has launched a ground offensive now described as a living hell. This morning, an Israeli official tells NBC News that the Israeli prime minister has been having emergency discussions to talk about getting more aid into Gaza. This, as the State Department says, it's watching the situation closely and wants to see the progress Israel has made so far, not only sustained, but increased. Back to you. That was NBC's Aaron McLaughlin reporting from Tel Aviv. An international authority on hunger says that the risk of famine in the Gaza Strip is still high.